Gahey, right? He's being linked with a move to Newcastle. And it looks like Crystal Palace are getting raided this summer, right? They've already lost Olise, right? Teams are looking around to sign Eze, who has a release clause. And now it looks like Margay is on his way to Newcastle. And I think this would be an excellent signing for them, right? Him and Botman as a center back pairing, that's very solid, right? And we just saw the Euros that came, right, where England lost in the finals, and they were pretty awful to watch. Like, let's be honest, watching England this summer felt like a punishment. I felt like I did something wrong, and I had to watch England to make up for what I did. Anyways, Margay was one of the best players for England throughout that tournament. He impressed me a lot. He impressed me so much that if I'm being honest, I don't know if Harry Kane, sorry, Harry Kane, if Harry Maguire gets back into that starting 11 for England. And I think with his performances, after the Euros ended, we saw the rumors start coming in. He was getting linked to Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, um, you know, like AC Milan. He was being linked to a lot of big clubs. But it looks like Newcastle are the ones that might win the race. And I like what Newcastle are doing because they went from a team that looked like they were going to get raided this summer, right? I remember everybody was being linked to Bruno Gimaraes, to Alexander Isaac, to now they've been able to keep those guys. They still are going to have um, Tonali who's going to come back, right? They still have Anthony Gordon, even though he's been with the move to Liverpool, but so far he's still there. And if you go bring in a guy like Margahi, you're going to strengthen your squad. And these are the moves that they have to make in order to get to a level that they want to be at, right? Because they've gotten taken over by the Saudis, right? And we all know that they're loaded. Newcastle have a lot of money that they can spend, but because of the financial rules in place, they can't just go out there and just spend a lot of money because Newcastle, they don't generate that much. So they are a bit restricted, but these are the kind of deals that slowly get you better to where now you are competing for top four every single season. and then you take another step up to where you are now competing for the league every single season. And I think in about five years, that's where Newcastle will be, is right up there competing for the Premier League. Because when you have those Saudi uh, owners, right, they're very ambitious. They didn't buy Newcastle to just be mid. And you can tell by the business that they're doing, right? Bringing in Botman, right? Signing Sanjo Tonali, who even though he didn't get to play last season, he I think he will be back next season. Right? They still have Bruno Gimaraes. The next thing that they have to do is lock Gimaraes and Alexander Isaac down to contract extensions. And then you go out there. You sign up Mark Gahey, right? He's English as well. Very young. Arguably their best center back. And I think it's a good deal. But it's going to be hard. Because I'm pretty sure Crystal Palace, they don't want to be losing all these players. And I actually do like what Palace have going on. Right? You got Oliver Glass now who plays some really good football. I think a lot of people were excited to see what Crystal Palace will do next season. But we might not be as excited about it if they end up selling all their best players. But again, Newcastle, I think this is a very good deal. I don't really know how much he'd cost. I'm thinking 50 to 55 million seems like a reasonable price. Because you're not buying him for what he is right now. You're also buying him for his potential. And I think as long as Newcastle keep making deals like this, right, where you're bringing in prem proven players who are really good, and then, you know, you maybe make one big splash signing as well, you add them to the side, yeah, they're going to be a threat. And I'm interested to see how Newcastle play next season. And I think maybe after next season, you probably let go of Eddie Howe and you go get you a big boy manager, right? You go get an elite manager that's won trophies, right, that's done it at the very top. And then I think you could see Newcastle – actually start making some real some real serious moves in the Prem. But yeah, Margay, if he ends up going there, I rate this deal a lot. Their defense is going to get a lot better. He's a really good player. I don't really see any weaknesses in his game as well. I mean, he looks decent on the ball. He's a very strong physical center back as well, good in the air. Like, what can he do? W signing by Newcastle if they're able to get this move over the line. But let me know what you guys think about uh, Margay and him possibly going to Newcastle.